Trevor Florence, the new QB, has had a terrific season, third in the nation in passing. Future kickoff man in the NFL, Jeff Locke. Drills it goodly, a wide receiver just shifted into the backfield and he'll get it on first down. Rushing numbers close to what Griffin did last year. There's Goodley on the catch and a Baylor first down. Flores. And Florence, as we mentioned, he can run, but uh, so can UCLA. No gain on the play and then a bad snap. Florence! And a flag, they did not get the playoff, it's a delay. And then another flag comes in. Difficult. So they get a first down. It was third down. It was going to be third and 28. Here's Lake Seastrunk. And he's trying to get outside. He was one of the top recruits in the country two years ago. Here's Seastrunk straight ahead. Another third down. Here comes pressure. And Florence in trouble. They don't blow the whistle. Transfer from Notre Dame. And this is returnable. But good coverage. Hundley from Chandler, Arizona. He's an excellent passer, and that one way freshman. He'll throw again on play action. Pressure coming, and Hundley down. 235, and Allen at 225. They'll run Franklin on third and 21 just to get some yardage back. Baylor beat Washington 67-56. Levi Norwood waiting for the high punt. And Norwood gets a couple of blocks past the 45-yard line. Almost eight yards of carry, C struck, and he's got a big hole here up the gut. And he didn't go down initially. Glasgow Martin in the game at tailback, and he'll get the call. Averaging close to 100 yards per game. He's hold for Martin. Florence pulls it back, and wide open is Terrence Williams, his 96th 20-yard pass play. Back to Martin on the ground. Inside the 10. It's Martin. They'll run it again up the gut. Touchdown! And a touchdown real quick. Any adjustment by Baylor offensively? The winds are down. And what RG3 brought to the program you don't have. But in terms of the numbers, they're still there. Here's Manfro for UCLA on the return. Manfro out across the 40-yard line. And here's UCLA. All right, Mike. For Jonathan Franklin on first and 10. That was with Robert Griffin, the third in quarterback. Here's Jonathan Franklin. And Baylor's defense. Play clock at two. So now you get a delay of game penalty. That wasn't just to fake him off. Lock, one of the best punters in the country. And it'll be fair caught. All of that production. It's amazing. And they'll run Seastrunk straight ahead. On second and six, Florence will throw. Got crushed, but finds an open. Terrence Williams down the sideline. He stepped out of bounds. 764. Seas drunk on first down. You need to be to play in the NFL. They'll take that. Third down and two. They'll keep it on the ground. And Upside defense. There was a roughing the passer call earlier that negated the third down play. Gave him a first down as Florence bounces off tacklers. Position. On second and one, Martin at the eight-yard line. And Florence throwing a fade! Touchdown! Goodly, but that is a great call by Barry yes. Hart Browns. Man throws deep. Return the last kick to midfield. They won't give him a chance here. Brought to this equation is toughness. They run. That's what they were, and there's no arguing that from the year ago. Pass wide open is Fourier on offense. Breaking tackles. Right recipe. We pass it on on the flat to true freshman Kenneth Walker. And he stood up there and now drops a couple of guys deep. Both guard. Offense. He's in there a tackle right now because of an injury, but he's been the starter at guard this year. Hundley stepping up. Nowhere to go. Jeff Locke. First team all pack 12 punter booms this one with hang time. And part of that is because of the Baylor offense as Florence will keep and gets wrapped up. Absolutely. There's Martin. Mm -hmm. Hendricks creeping over now. And Florence in trouble. Here in the postseason, they look sharp. Leading 14 zip. There's Evans on the return. James and Franklin, and they'll give it to Franklin. Wrapped up in ACL. Hundley going to throw deep. Got a man. 
It's pulled in. Missed all of last year due to injury. They're going to hand it off. A special player. Hundley in the pocket. Going to fire into the end zone. Incomplete so far. Hundley stumbles, but that play, not a punt, huh? Hundley with time. Going to throw underneath. Did, did they think it was third down? And he got a touchdown pass in this game, and he'll keep here, and he totally fooled Barr. Three's freshman season when he got hurt with a knee injury as Florence steps up and takes off. First down and more. Florence all the way. Beach with his feet. 17 yards on that play. And now Florence throwing deep. Underrated. We talk a lot about the quarterbacks in the run game. It's just truly really amazing, his transformation. Florence on third down. Going to go deep. Got a man. It's pulled in by Reese. he score. A touchdown. Baylor. Speed to burn on the outside. And UCLA can't run it. The pace is so fast that it prevents the substitutions. And so you have guys that are mismatched. And then they're taking advantage of it. Short kickoff. Man throw. To appreciate what he's done this year. You know, the NFL is a whole other story. Seven yard pass play and then run the ball with no lineup. Unleaded throw. Ball flutters. Guard now playing left tackle. As Hundley completes it to Jordan Sickle. He's in there right guard. Third and seven. Hundley has to step up. And Hundley gets the first down. Lost the ball. 42 yard line. Hundley steps up and almost throws a pick. Hundley has to step up and he's going to get sacked. Hundley gets nailed as he gets rid of the pass. Incomplete. His accuracy. Block again with a great punt. Kent State, Northern Illinois, those two teams really came out of nowhere. Back to the fundamentals. I'm going to keep it on the ground with Seastrom. He gets grabbed again. Last time they had the ball. They're going to throw it underneath this time to the tight end. Neither. He lost the ball. UCLA's got it. Picking it up as two true freshmen. Finished the job. No running room again for Franklin. Miss a blocking scheme, right? Officially a one yard loss and now a pass. End zone open is for you. JJ Stokes, who had 18 one year. 21 7 Baylor, 6 20 remaining. I do not expect to see a whole lot of man to man from UCLA the rest of the game. Florence, what a play that is, huh? Looked like he was going to run, then he dumps it off to Reese. Florence looking downfield, gets hit. And no, just throw Browns and get on his own. Here's Seastrom, finds a hole every straight ball game. First time in school history. Florence keeps. He was short, but they, they gave him the first down. Here's an end around to Reese. And UCLA territory again. Florence takes off, finds a running lane. First of foul, defense number 19, targeting. It's a, it's a terrible mistake by Dalton Hill. Glasgow Martin inside the 10. Touchdown. These that have led directly to first downs. You can do that against some teams. Two of the losses earlier in the season. They scored 50 and 63 and lost. Manfler. And he won't even get to the 15 on the 14-yard line. They're going to run the ball. And another. And kind of what happened to Matt Barkley this year trying to do so much. Down in 13 as UCLA cannot run the ball. And now Hundley going deep and almost pulled in. Dive with two hands to make that play. Pass was, was there kind of short on to trying to get it with one hand. Nor went under the punt. Quarter. And a bad snap. And Florence picks it up and tries to make a play. And throws it away. Well, their average TD drives only two minutes. Florence ducked under a defender. And then... And it's pulled in for a first down. Levi Norwood at 173 yards passing, and that's pretty good. As we'll show you, Seastrom inside the 20, inside the 10, touchdown! And Baylor's now pouring it on and trying to make a statement to a lot of people in Waco about what the future holds for this team. Uh, he thinks his future's pretty bright as that kick goes out of bounds. To work with for UCLA. Only off play action going deep football player that Nick Florence is and to stand in there and accomplish that congratulations.
congratulations to her team at Michigan. Won the national title there. At Michigan is Hundley in third and 13, throws underneath. Evans. That's the first Here's half a fake for, for UCLA on fourth down and eight. Jeff Watt. Two timeouts, just over a minute to work with. It's against Stanford at the Pac-12 title game at the second half. Let's see how they handle this. Oh, great play. Two timeouts remaining. There's Evans. And trying to drag. Only throws complete. And they'll spike it. So preserve it. Going for Fourier. From the 12. Pressure coming up the middle. Hunley throws it away. Coming again. Hunley, end zone. Fourier broken up. 30 yard try. Question is with, with Baylor on fourth down and ten, would they have done the same thing defensively? Would they have come after him? Yep, and Florence will end the half. Nick Florence put 174 yards and two touchdowns. A new single season passing record breaking RG3's mark. Short kickoff. And it's Kendricks for UCLA. Five sacks. And they shut down the run game. They're going to let Hunley run the football and see if they can have some success. Up front. I know they've got some injuries, but they're bigger. They need to take it to him. Another short throw by Hunley. Going for Jerry. No running room. Now the question is, can they protect up front? Yeah, they've lost two of their offensive linemen to injury. Here's third and nine. Hunley has a man, but it... Fourth and nine, they bring the blitz, and the pass deflected and incomplete. Florence in trouble. And they have play in the run game as well. Seastrunk trying to pick a hole. And the only rush four. Florence steps up and takes off. Blitz and pressure that full bit. Roth punting. Evans will let it go. And it UCLA down 25. First and 10. Hunley with time. Everybody covered. Nine yard gain. Franklin back on the field, and that's his best run of the day. Hunley throwing to the flat to the freshman Walker, and what a hit. Chance Casey in this game. Hunley, a couple of pump fakes, and got him in. You got Baca playing center. He's played guard and tackle already today. Quick throw to Evans who breaks the tackles. I'd give it to Hundley in trouble and spun down. Quarterback. There they come. And Hundley finds territory for UCLA. Pressure coming and pass toward the end zone. Incomplete. Three possession game. And the true freshman. Kaimi Fairbairn puts it through. Pasadena for the Rose Bowl on ESPN Radio. Goodley and Darius Jones are deep. Ball 35 times in this game. Here's 36. Florence. He is not sliding. He is playing one heck of the game. Here's Seastrunk trying to get outside. Possession game technically. Down 22. They're going to run. Glasgow Martin with the second effort. He gets the first down. There's Martin. His comments, he would say, probably I would take those back, but you can't take them back, and success. And that's not the way you want to send a message to your teammates. Making a comment like that to put himself in a precarious spot. They punt it on fourth and one. Evans will scoop it up and take off. Evans across the 30. Stiff arming at the 35. And finally, the punter. Spencer Roth, third, big possession here. Hunley on first and ten, throws it into the ground by his Baylor defense. Hunley gets rid of the pass. Hunley, and broken up to two out of four, four downs. Fourth and ten, here comes McAllister again. Hunley throwing deep, and broken up. Here's Seastrunk. They like go for it, though. He's a... Uh... He's going to be a good player. Seastrunk first down and more. Breaks tackle. Inside the 30. And then finally brought down. Baylor moving the ball again. Here's Glasgow. Martin. Huge hole. Then says to it at 21 yards and a score in this game. Here's Martin. Positive direction for Baylor. Here's Martin. And he. Here's Martin. Here's Martin. He's in.
Touchdown, Baylor. Smash mouth, right up the middle. Point after makes it 42. Stanford, who I think was the, the class of, of the Pac-12, but certainly it raises some eyebrows. Here's Manfro. Gets a huge block. And brought down Florida State defense and Bjorn Warner and company. Out of the flat to Fuller. Second and seven. And out of the flat to Franklin, trying to get him involved in some way, shape, or form. Third down and four. And that play. And there was a miscommunication with James. So UCLA has to punt fourth and seven. And the fair catch made. And he hasn't been able to get a running game going either, which hasn't helped. Here's Florence. And he gets chased down. 42 to 13 is the score. Third down and one. They'll give it to the big Glasgow Martin. And good job by Dayton Jones to make a play. Forced to fumble. Be five. And Franklin again in the backfield title game against Stanford. He ran for almost 200. Huntley fumbles the snap. Comes that blitz again up the middle. Huntley throws complete. And they're going to hand it off. Play action. Huntley. Forced to move right. Got a wide open. Shaq Evans for the touchdown. Huntley. And he was going for Jerry Johnson. Uh, so all over the park in the Alabama Bowl last year. Here's Seastrup. Oh, what a great move in the hole that he made. Finally brought down. Oh, there he was uh, in reports at the center of the Willie Lyles investigation. Which is a still going in front of the ball there. And UCLA recovers. Play on its 30-yard line. Ineligible. They lost the Kraft fight hunger ball as a Hundley rolls out. It's impressive this, this year is that they found a coach in Jim Moore, and you can feel good. Throwing the ball 46 times tonight, and they win behind as that pass on fourth down is deflected, and again, Baylor will take over on downs. Game at quarterback, going to hand it off to Martin, inside some recruits and also some other guys on the roster that haven't played, including red shirts. He'll be able to play as much as he wants to play in his football game. On the UCLA 20, Florence will run it. I think the, uh, the ability for them to recruit is, is going to continue to go up. <laughs> Florence will throw on third down and six to the end zone. Pass interference. Defense. Martin with the stutter step. At least seven games, three straight seasons. Here's Florence straight ahead. He's in touchdown. Leads the nation in total offense. Texas A&M loses. Good, good tease. Short kickoff, and again, it's fielded by Kendricks, a linebacker, but they also had some good wins. On the road at USC, being Stanford as Hundley goes downtown for Jerry Johnson. Hundley throwing it out into the flat, and a big hit. Impact on how the offseason goes. Hundley finds four yet, and Hundley going end zone. For UCLA had, had not been a physical team in the past. Jared Salubi in the game and running back, and he's barely letting the play clock run down. And then hand it off to Salubi again. And he's close to the first down and has it. Part of it, I really think that Jim Moore has found his spot, and it's in college. 17 year old that's going to be playing uh, soccer in college as Salubi's wrapped up. That Jim Moore can have the same kind of success at UCLA. Salubi gets the first down. Bryce Petty in the game. Started seven games in 09 when RG3 was hurt. As Salubi tries to get outside and stay in bounds. Taking the play clock down to one and Petty wrapped up. <laughs> that was great concentration there. Final play, Hunley. And it's caught at the five. And going to be close to the goal line. Let's see how they rule it. Touchdown. Let's see if Sweet got Time in. Time out. Take a look. Baylor, they're second. It'll be third he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's about he's a yard in. short. They didn't call timeout to challenge it with no time left. He's not in. Just forget about it. But he was trying to call timeout anyway. Final score is 49-26.